I don't know what you feel about them. Hey, Doc, how are you? So, you know, I have honestly, I haven't been able to watch too many of the debates or the information about all the candidates, but he is surging in the polls. Any explanation? Who has some opinions? Give me some hearts. Uh, Misha Aronia KC. Is that Kansas City? I don't know. Hearts, 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 hearts. We love the hearts. Okay. Donald Trump is an interesting character, right? It's pretty amazing of what he's done. Regardless of the end result, if he gets voted in or not, and I can't say I'm pro or anti, but it is awfully refreshing to hear someone un restrictedly voice his opinion in a time where voicing opinion is almost past day. Megan, 5'4", five, 5'4". Four, five, four. Hold on, I'm gonna stop. We gotta come into busy street. I don't wanna get hit. All right, get coming. So, but he's, he's pretty infatuated in character. He's very bold. He doesn't really apologize for what he has to say. Yeah, he's arrogant. But it's refreshing to see some of his takes on things when politicians in the past are so structured, so rigid, so methodical, because they have to be. We have created that. All right. Three, five, seven, nine, eight, nine, nine, nine. How are you, man? So I'm at an intersection. Hey, I wanted to show you this cool. Hold on just a second. I don't know if you can see this. It's my new cycling jersey. It's pretty dang sweet. I'm pretty jacked about it. All right, come on. We're skipping, skipping Dodge. Doctor of what? I'm a family doctor. Family practitioner? You should have lived in Minnesota when Jesse Ventura was governor. Yeah, yeah, I did not. But I do remember some of his baits. And uh, he was quite bold, if I remember so. And a lot of people like that sometimes. Okay, moving on. So. Uh, thank you, awesome. I appreciate it. I don't know if you can see this, but on the side, it says Spin Doctor. <laughs> Pretty sweet, right? Found it on the old WWW, World Wide Web. Okay, second topic. What was second topic? Uh, medical. Uh, it was fat loss. Okay, fat loss, right? So, my patients come in. What we call Hondas, right? These are hypertensive, obese, non-compliant diabetics, okay? People that have fit all these categories and they always come to me with these chronic problems and it's sad because they're good people. They're great people. Hey, Bridgie Joint, how are you? Where are you from? Yeah, I didn't ask the people. Hey, where's everybody from, huh? Uh, Soldonis, where are you from? So, this is a doctor on a bike, five topics, five miles. You can ask any medical question. I'll answer to the best of my ability. I understand that this is just for entertainment purposes, where we have fun and we chat while I ride on my bike, kill some time. Enjoy the ride, Doc. Hey, thanks a lot. So, losing fat, right? It is a myth that you can spot treat your body. If you have extra weight, jump. Hey, Maggie Lee 002. How are you, Maggie? It is a myth that you can spot treat your body. If you have a large stomach, you cannot do a thousand abs and lose your stomach. If you've got extra wide thighs, if you focus on those by doing what we call the yes no machine. Hey, murder Murray, sorry. Hey, give me some marks, guys. I'm almost a couple miles left. Hard, 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 hard. Okay, you have to methodically caloric intake versus caloric out expenditure. Okay, and this guy's take a long time. Habit forming takes six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks. You can't go to the gym once, twice. You have to go to the gym hundreds, hundreds of thousands of times. Okay? And if you get that in the mind and realize that it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, it'll be great. Now, okay. Third mile coming up. Okay, so obesity is not your friend. A line that I've been using with my patients. Gravity is the enemy. And gravity loves to pull down on weight. If you have extra weight, it's not a bad thing. It doesn't make you less of a person, but it does increase your risks of all sorts of diseases and problems. And it's interesting because we're getting larger and larger and we're living longer and longer. So, we're not dying off. If you were large, 
The fat back in the day usually died early. But with the advancements of medicine that we have today, we keep you alive. And you can argue that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay? I want to show you this switch. Hey, Tim David Magic, what's up? Good to have you. Okay, Tim David Magic, I want to show you, tell you what you think of this. Okay, so this is my new uh, uh, cycle jersey. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a stethoscope, pretty love it. Okay, I don't know if you can see the back. The side says Spin Doctor. This is pretty, I just found this on the, on the internet. This is my favorite part, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, so it shows my scalpels, hemostat. Pretty dang sweet, yeah? So, okay. Check my blind spot. Signal. Just kidding. Alright, moving on. Okay. So, poundage is not your friend. Tied with gravity, you got a lot of slew of problems, okay? Alright, so that was lose weight. Third topic Virginia shooting. Matches your friend pretty well. Yeah, thank you, man. That was pretty cool. I agree. I found him. That's look at this snake right up. Okay. Hey, what's going on right now? Loud, sorry. Okay, so the Virginia shooting. I don't know if many people have read the news. Two reporters, I believe it was for ABC, in a local uh, news report, was uh, doing a, a story in Virginia. And a former employee of the station shot and killed two of his former co-workers who reportedly said racial comments to him. and it was all caught live these people were live reporting the news and the co-worker killed him. that's not bueno no bueno uh, very sad so the report goes that this individual very creepily Shortly after the shooting, he sent a 25-page document or a manifesto on why he wanted to kill his co-workers. It breaks my heart when this kind of stuff goes on because that person is hurting for whatever reason. There's so many factors. Why were the co-workers so angry? Why were they not more cordial, or nice to this individual? He could have been mentally unstable. So it shows he was a very angry individual. So this makes me sad that that kind of happens. So he's probably depressed. He probably had some anxiety issues, maybe some psychogenic. Who knows? Okay, we'll keep going. Up again. All right. Okay, shifting gears. Okay, next topic. I don't know if anybody read. Anybody, uh, let's send some hearts out for the families of the killed reporters. So, feel terrible about what has happened. If you have an opportunity, send some hearts. Show them you care. Uh, not for me now. Uh, we only got a couple people on. We'll finish up. Okay. Third topic. No, fourth topic. Is female Viagra. Hey, Mako 2301. How are you? Good to have you. Where are you from, Mako? It's always good to have people listening here. So, oh, jump, get cut off by the road. Okay, so female Viagra, yeah, it is a real thing. And they've been showing it as a pink pill. It's the same thing. It's the blue pill that's hooked all the males. They took a pretty small study, about 100 people, and each one of these women were currently taking antidepressants. So to be part of the study, you have to be a female, one. Mexico! Que linda Mexico! No manche, Mexico! I love it. I lived in Guadalajara for two, three months. Beautiful, I love it. Que parte de Mexico? Hola. Me llamo Tomas. Mucho gusto. Okay. Um, so, the Viagra study showed he had to be female. You had to be... Go, go, go! Dale pues! Dale pues! So when I was in Mexico, sidebar, my first name is Darren. And Hispanics have a very difficult time saying Darren. They say da, 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 da. So, 
I go by my last name, which is Thomas. And they call me Tomas. Hey, Tomasi! Que pasi, Tomasi! Anyways, but there's a song. It's pretty old, but it goes Tomas. Ooh, que feo estas. Which means, hey, Thomas, how ugly you are. But it was a fun song, I love it. La Cucaracha. That's a good one. All right, so, here we are. Female Viagra. You had to be a female, you had to be taking antidepressant medications, and you had to be currently suffering from a very common side effect of antidepressants, which is sexual dysfunction, decreased libido. So they did this study on these people. When they, uh, with decreased libido, and they found that patients that took, that fit these criteria, and took Viagra, females mind you, and they took Viagra, increased sexual desire, increased um, duration, and onset of orgasm. So, a lot of people are pretty happy about this, because not too many people know about the statistics of depression in the world today. Holy moly, man, slow down, Holmes. This is the first time I've felt like I haven't been courteous. Quincy, Illinois has been pretty cool people. That guy just ripped by me. All right. So a lot of people are pretty excited about this because a lot of people, statistically, are on antidepressants. that it's because the antidepressants are needed or the diagnostics have gotten better. I believe it's because our priorities have shifted. They've shifted terribly and everyone's looking for happiness in the wrong places. I'm not saying you have to be a believer of God, but studies have shown over and over and over again that if you're nice, if you're helpful, if you're involved, in a charitable cause that whose focus is not your own, you experience higher endorphins. Hey, Almanzil1958. What's up, Almanzil1958? How are you? Where are you from? Anyways, so females on antidepressants can benefit from taking possibly their partner's Viagra, although it will be a blue pill and not a pink. Same effects. Okay. Um, what was my last time? Mother Teresa. All right, Mother Teresa. Now, there is someone who understood fighting antidepression with helping other people. Okay, true love, she says, true love is loving others until it hurts. And that's really true. Because you think about the people that you're required to truly love. Your family members, your spouse, your family, your kids, your children, your cousins. These people are the closest, the people you're supposed to love the most. And oftentimes, they're, they're sometimes, they test you the most. Now it's a numbers game. You're spending more time with them. And as us as individuals and humans, we interact more. We have more conflicts. The more time we spend around each other. So it's just a math equation. The people you're around more, they're going to bug you more. So Mother Teresa, she understood. And sometimes true love can hurt because you gotta love the people that you might be closest to or you might be the mad in the moment of. Sometimes it's physically hurts. Look what Mother Teresa did. Holy moly. She selflessly gave her whole life. You don't think she ever had hunger pains? You don't think she ever had her feet were sore standing there shooting and feeding people? You don't ever think her back hurt? She was in a lot of pain because she truly loved people. Okay. So I'm signing off. This is Doctor on a Bike. New app session. Five miles, five topics. Hope you enjoyed the people around there. And uh, it's been a while. It's been fun to be back. All right, give me a couple hearts. The two people if you can. If you're online, you probably can't on your phone. Give me a heart, a couple hearts. All right. I gotta go. I'm gonna go play with.